Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crate Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a simple set of pipes. Uh, and we're going to do it via the spline modeler. So let's go ahead and drop this in here. And make it about that big. Now let's grab an oval. Press shift. And if, when you draw it out it's going to make uh, a circle actually. And it's going to be proportionate all the way around. Let's go ahead and push Shift Command C, and it's going to center it. Let's draw it out just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, a little bit more. We're going to have to do some work on it. And you notice when when you get this here, uh, when you get it drawn out, uh, click on these ends a little bit, and you'll you'll notice that you can click on this end but you can't click on this end. I don't know what that's about. Uh, why why it's like that, maybe to kind of keep it, if you have to scale it, you can scale it universally. But uh, that's the only reason I could see not putting a cap on there. Command Shift C, make sure, it, oh, Command Shift C, make sure it stays centered. And uh, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and put a cap on it. Let's go ahead and create, and that's gonna put an end on this end. Let's click on this first uh, oval again and let's create multiple and let's do five. That's going to give us a few endpoints to work with and an exact uh, when you when you uh, use an odd number it gives you a middle point that you can play with which is what we need. Uh, now you can click on these guys. When when you uh, created multiple, it created multiple instances of this of this oval all the way down. And if we would have scaled it, it would have scaled it down proportionately and uh, you know evenly all the way across. Um, now you notice when you click on these guys, there. If you look up here in the right hand corner, this is these are the proportions that you have for your your uh, ovals circles is what they are but uh, yeah so let's go ahead and do something about that let's click about three down and let's go four no let's go 3.5 3.5 to give it uh, make it scale down one let's go to this next one and do the same thing 3.5 pal 3.5, 3.5. Press enter and then click this end right here. I'm going to do the same thing to this. 3.5, pow, 3.5, pow. Now, uh, make sure you clicked on your, your pointer and uh, re click this again and push Command Shift C. If you try to do it immediately, it won't do it. You got to click out and click back in. Command Shift C to get that centered again. Oop. Come on now. And Command Shift C. Pow. And see how this looks on the side now? Now check this out. I have uh, I have the grid turned on. Uh, Command J uh, will allow you to snap to the grid. And I probably should have told you that at the beginning, but you uh, having the grid turned on makes this process really simple. Check this out. Let's go ahead and grab a point here and then pull that down. Grab a point here and pull it down here. And this is our basic pipe shape. Oh, uh, wow. Not nice. Ah, 3.5. 3.5 pal. And see if you try and Command Shift C, it won't do it. Got to click on it, Command Shift C, and it'll center again. Now these uh, these ends are just a little too thick. Let's go ahead and bring these down just a little bit. And rather than grabbing points and trying to move them toward the ends, you can take your ends and then move them toward the middle. That's one of the cool things about making it editable. Let's see what we got. Pow. That's what we like. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this. And one cool thing about this 
is uh, this is something you're gonna you can use over and over and over again. You know, you don't have to hunt down, you know, ways to do it, uh, or you know, objects already made. So let's go ahead and move this over. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate it. Command D. Let's slide it over. Let's go in here, and we're going to create a new master. Push OK. And this is our same guy again. Let's go ahead and go in the four view. Well, actually, let's go in the one view and then go to the right. No, to the left. There we go. Now, uh, that intermediate point I was talking about, the reason that we put that intermediate point in there is so we can put a bend in it. You pull that up and it and it warps your 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 object a little bit but and not in a good way uh, let's go ahead and uh, arrange extrusion method pipeline pow now if you take your you take your uh, endpoints and you can move them around uh, it's gonna jack it a little bit there we go move this around a little bit and one thing about this the spline modeler is uh, when you're when you're moving your points around sometimes it makes makes your bends a little unrealist, unrealistic so it, sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you think it's going to do but in this case uh, it is which is nice let's go ahead and make that and that doesn't look right when you select your points if you select your hey oh here we go let's just go ahead and select a point and when you select your point uh, this little uh, dialog box comes up the same thing for your shapes there are there are places for your points and your tangents uh, yeah let's go ahead and select that one point right there and let's smooth it pow yikes that's a little too Extreme. I'm gonna have to shift this around a little bit. There we go. And there's still kind of a bend there, and that's what I mean about there. It bends not quite the way you expect it to sometimes. And you can fix that. You can fix if you have to do things incrementally. Uh, you can bring the spacing down a little bit. Point two pow. And then you can get now when it'll snap to the smaller grid. See that takes you a little bit of points out. Actually, I think it may have bent in here. But uh. Yeah, that'll fly for what it is. You you will have to come in and tweak things a little bit. You can turn the grid off and fix that a little bit. But uh, since we're just kind of doing this for show, and you notice that the pipe that you just made fits into the pipe that you made before. Perfectly. Well. nice yeah it helps if everything's uh, if the objects are centered on each other motion pal here we go and since uh, we reshaped it it's not the exact same one but it fits you know just right where you want it to and it'll align perfectly uh, to it because it's pretty much the same object so uh, these are keepers these are things that you want to save for later so let's go ahead and uh, go into our browser and let's change the name of this guy let's go from straight let's call that straight pipe 
pipe. And let's call this one bent pipe. Bent pipe. And let's draw this over into our uh, object browser. Uh, straight pipe, cool. And bent pipe, drive it in there, that's cool. And now we have something for later. Now we can use these over and over and over again, which you'd be surprised if you have industrial scenes. Industrial scenes have a lot of pipes. So, uh, yeah, they, they're perfect for, um, they're perfect for, uh, you know, pipes that you need over and over and over again. So, anyway, uh, that's how you make pipes. That's it for this time. I'm Crate Man, and I'll talk to you again later.